Hey, it's good to see you. Today we're back in Dollar Tree and we're going to sort some soap. I had so many people say they enjoyed the last one. Um, so I thought we would come back. We have a lot to choose from. One of the things I've noticed with Dollar Tree is that a lot of them display their soap in these things like this, in the little um, slanted things with the metal uh, fencing stuff. So there's really nothing to organize when it's like that because it all just kind of stays in place. So there's not a lot for me to do there. This is Aqua Zest. Let's see. What's going on back there? Let me pull these off. This is Cocoa Butter and Shea for soft, silky skin. I'll just move these. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with the Aqua Zest. I'm trying to pull that one up there. Okay. Aqua Marine. That one looks like it's a slightly different color, but it's the same stuff. It could be some old packaging or something. Oops. What's that? And I'm going to put one up in the front there, like that. Okay, back to the cocoa butter and shea. You get two bars for a dollar. That's not bad. How much does this weigh? Let's see. Uh, two bars. They're both 3.2 ounces each. And it says it has 25% more moisturizers. Let me actually do that. Get that one way back there. Here we have Zest Lush Paradise. A pretty pink box. Oh, oh, I like it. It's pretty. It's something very appealing about the, the colors in the, the Zest logo. And then um, the pink and white. And then you have these pretty flowers. It's just cool. I think it is anyway. Here we have pears. This is transparent soap. It's kind of like um, Neutrogena soap. I don't think they have any Neutrogena products here. Some of these are turned the wrong way. Let's go this way. Yeah. Are they all the same size? Yeah, 3.2 ounces. That's so pretty. Oh, it smells good, too. It smells nice. This is some um, pears, transparent soap. Whoops, wrong way. It's just like Neutrogena. Gentle Care Soap. That's also a three and a half ounce um, bar, but you're only going to get one of those. Oh, and you can also get Olay, Oil of Olay, Ultra Moisture Soap. This is uh, 3.17 ounces or 90 grams. One bar of that. Or you can get good old ivory. Although, you know, I got some ivory um, body wash and it was scented. I was kind of surprised. I always thought ivory soap was not scented. But the, the ivory body wash I had, it was just, it was just plain like this, just like plain ivory. But it had a def it was definitely scented. It's kind of surprising. All right, here we have Original Irish Spring. Now this is a single bar, 3.7 ounces, or you can get two smaller bars, 3.2 ounces for the same price. That's interesting. I guess if you want one big bar, you just go for that. Huh. 
my mom bought ivory soap primarily. I do remember when Lever 2000 came out, she really liked that, and then we switched to Lever 2000. But yeah, for most of my childhood, we used ivory soap. I had trouble with really, really sensitive skin when I was small. I don't really have that problem anymore. I didn't think it was the kind of thing you could outgrow, but um, yeah, I don't really have a problem with it anymore. But when I was little, um, pretty much any detergent with perfume or dye in it would irritate my skin. Let's see, some of these are turned this way. These are turned this way. These in the back are all sideways, like they're just wild back there. It's like a Billy Idol video or something. We just can't control ourselves. Well, I can't do anything about all that. I'm not even going to try. Irish Spring. Now, I checked Google, and I made sure to come in here during the least busy time of the entire week. I planned this ahead of time. So if you hear any noise in here, I have honest to God done everything I could to prevent it. <laughs> I made special plans to come here at this time on this day of the week <laughs> to avoid noisy people. Um, but I cannot do any more than that. <laughs> you know, I asked them to kick all the customers out and they said no. Do you believe that? I was aghast. Truly. All these bars back here turned the wrong way. There's literally one other customer in this store and she's making more noise than 20 of me would make. You ever notice that some people just lumber through life like a rhinoceros on coke? Have you noticed that? Some people, no matter what they do, just make more noise than is humanly possible. Why is that? Why are some people so, just, they're just naturally noisy? I don't understand it. Okay, Yardley. This is Yardley Shea Buttermilk. Nice. I bet that smells good. It does, it smells nice. It's not a heavy, perfumey smell either, which is extra nice. Oh, there's some way back there. Okay, so we'll take these up here. I'll do three rows of that. And we also have Yardley English Lavender. It, uh, that smells okay, I'm, but I'm not a big fan of lavender, so. Hey, this one's open, look. I thought it would be purple, but it's actually not. I don't really like the way that one smells. It smells like, it reminds me of something, but I don't know what. This is a 4.25 ounce bar though. That would last a while. I do like the fact that I don't have to share my shower with anybody and I can buy whatever I want and I don't have to listen to anybody complain and, and it lasts. I don't have to worry about anybody using up my shampoo or my conditioner or my soap or anything. It's actually kind of nice. <laughs> Let's see, get that one. Now some of these are sideways as well. Why do they do that? They put some in the back on all sideways and stuff. There, I don't, I don't know. Oh, Jergens. Good old Jergens. You get three bars of Jergens for a dollar. Um, they are three ounces each. I think we're just gonna leave them sideways because that's the way they all are. It is a mild soap. I remember my mom used to buy Jergens lotion. Oh, that about went over. Oh, it's right on the edge too. You have to be careful. Hmm. That's not that's I think that's a pretty good deal for a dollar. Look at these fat Q tips. Good golly, I reckon. Look at how, look how big they are. Sorry, it's totally random. These are safety swabs. Safer for children. 
But they say you're not supposed to use them to clean your ears out with. That would be, you know what though, these would be kind of cool for crafts and stuff. You know? I don't, I don't know. I've never seen any swabs that big before. Um, okay. Irish Spring. We have two different types of Irish Spring. We have Moisture Blast and Original. Moisture Blast sounds uncomfortable, to be honest. I don't think I'm interested in encountering that in my shower. Original soap. Yay! And then you have all the dial. Now, these are bigger bars. How big are these? No, they're not. These are only 3.2 ounces. I guess the box just looks bigger. This is uh, spring water. We have white. I guess, well, it's a deodorant, so maybe it's not scented. I don't know. They have that, and they have marula oil, although I heard this was really good. Somebody said this was great soap. I've never tried it. How big are these bars? These are 3.2 ounces. You get two of them. Gentle cleansing. Oh, this is purple one here. We have lavender and twilight jasmine as well. That sounds nice. You can smell it a little bit through the package. It smells good. And Coast. I remember, um, I remember the Coast commercials from the 80s, the eye opener. It seemed like there were a lot more soap commercials back in the 80s than there are now, but I don't really watch TV anymore, so I don't know. I watch a lot of Netflix. Um, I've been re-watching re The Good Place. If you haven't seen that show, it's, it's, um, it's pretty good. It's very, uh, very unique. Very interesting show. I've been watching that, but no, anyway, no, I don't really watch much regular TV. So, I mean, maybe soap commercials are still prevalent, but I don't know. I have no idea. I like the lavender and jazz, twilight jasmine. That's pretty. And soap. Uh, coast soap. It's all soap. Mary, God. <laughs> it's early. Please forgive me. Coast. This one is turned that way. There we go. I'm trying to get them all oriented the same way. I'll just do that. Okay, and then we have the dial. Actually, there are two types here. They look similar, but they're not the same. We have dial gold. Antibacterial, clean rinsing, non-drying. And then beside it, we have the uh, mar marula oil. I don't. I may be saying that wrong. If I am, I apologize. And the dial gold is here. Let's give me that one back there. Marula oil, dial gold. Um, something's going on down there. Let's. See. The bottom row needs to be scooted up. Oops. Marula oil. And gold. Look at that. That's better. It's looking pretty already, I think. Dial spring water. I know this seems like we have a lot of varieties of soap, but actually it's um this is this is small compared to what you would see in a larger store, like if you went to Target or Walmart. Oh yeah, it's crazy the varieties of soap we have. There's no excuse for anybody to walk around stinking, I'll tell you what. Oh, God, they're way back there, aren't they? What have I done wrong here? One of these is turned the wrong way. There. 
healthy skin. They even have a healthy skin satisfaction guarantee. Of course, I mean, who's going to return a bar of soap? I mean, I, I just cannot imagine. Although I did read this long story once of um, this... Um, this man bought a stapler. He bought a stapler at a yard sale for 25 cents. And um, he tried to return it the next day because it wouldn't work. And it turned into this big, long mess where he just, the guy said, well, I'll give you a quarter back. And he said, no, I want a new stapler. And he said, well, I'm not going to buy you a new stapler. I'll give you your quarter back. The man ended up taking him to court over this stapler he paid a quarter for. It turned into this big, huge litigation nightmare. <laughs> so that's why if you ever do a yard sale, you should always put up a big sign that says no returns. Because <laughs> you may end up with somebody like that. You never know. I just couldn't believe it. God, we have a lot of palm olive. Look at all this palm olive. Classic scent, palm olive. My mom did use palm olive dish detergent, but I don't remember there ever. I don't remember ever buying palm olive soap though. These are hard to get to. Back there, these are tall bars of soap. Look at them, because when you compare them to these, you can see they're a lot bigger. old dial basics this is hypoallergenic soap these are cute little bars i remember my mom buying ivory soap and it came like this you got the three little cute bars like this i don't think ivory i think now all ivory soap comes in plastic i don't see a need for it though see they could just package it like that just wrap it in this i don't know what kind of paper it is but they could just wrap it in paper like that Seems like it'd be less packaging. It'd be it'd be less expensive to package it that way, but maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, that's how they did the dial basics. Now these are turned this away. Those are turned that away. Maybe we better do them all the same. I don't know. We'll do them all the same. Most of them are turned this way. No. How about that? Have to scoot them up though from the bottom. How big are these bars? They're not terribly big. Part of the problem is the very bottom layer is scooted back too far. <laughs> And it's hard to slide them up. Back there. Look at all that soap. There. Now what is this? Sugar Soap Works Oatmeal and Verbena Soap. This is a big bar. 6.25 ounces. That's a beautiful box. It's made in the USA. some of this once. It was either the oatmeal and verbena or the oatmeal and coconut. I have just messed up my sandal. Hang on. There. <laughs> my foot was trying to come out of my shoe. these bars this is oatmeal and coconut also from sugar soapworks s h u g a r s h u g a r sugar there we go all right 
well, we um, we have done basically all of the soap. There. Now, I leave spots. I don't fill them in just in case they need it for something. Um, yeah. And then over here we have liquid soap. Clar and Danber. That goes up there. That is, um, very, very delicious. And then we have Assured Moisturizing Hand Soap, although it doesn't want to go. There we go. I got it. Three across. Mm -hmm. And down here we have some more. This is the refill. I think this is a great deal. So you start out with this. 15 ounces and it has the little pump and then you can get a 23 ounce refill for only a dollar they have very delicious and ocean fresh oh and apple that's cool that's um i think that's a good deal for a great big thing of hand soap like that I found this one at Walmart that I really like. It smells like uh, garden. No, is it jasmine? Jasmine and gardenia or something. It smells so nice. I use it every day. I love the way it smells. And then we have soft, uh, soft soap and speed stick. You don't go over here at all. I have one of these little things in my gym bag. It says it doesn't leave white marks. It totally does. I'm sorry. It totally does. <laughs> Every time I put it on, it does. I, maybe I'm putting it on wrong. I don't know, but it leaves white marks every time I wear it. This is uh, this is also Clar and Danver and antibacterial soap. Also 15 ounces. I don't see any refills for that. You may have to just buy this every time. Although, I mean, if you bought this, you could buy any of their refills to refill it, but I don't think they have the antibacterial refills. Okay, Clark and Danbert, this is Apple Fields. It doesn't fit in there too well. It's a little, a little tight. We're just going to do the best we can. Another soft soap. Antibacterial. We're just lining them up back there. Doesn't that look nice? There. And then we also have these cute little containers of, you see it's a liquid. It actually foams up when you press the little nozzle. It starts out as a liquid. The, the, um, the Jasmine hand soap I use is that's made the same way. It's not made by, made by this company. Um, but it foams up as you push the little pump. And it makes this nice foam. It's really cool. I love it. But the, the soap I like, it's back in the soap section. And it's only about $2. And a container like that actually lasts a pretty good while. It'll last at least a couple of months. And that's with me using it every day. Here we have the, these are the little containers. See, and you can get the refill. That's five and a half ounces. And the refill is 11.25 soft soap and they have different kinds too there's some oh this is one of my favorite ones right here uh crisp cucumber and, and melon this one's awesome i'm gonna have to pause and come over here to the nail polish they're putting out stock over there this is i believe the most organized i have ever seen this section like they're all in the right place and the right numbers and everything they have base coat and top coat. Yeah, I don't see all the time that I have to stop and wait for customers. Like a minute ago, I had to pause for about 10 minutes, literally. There was a man and woman over here arguing over what toothpaste to get. It took them 10 minutes to select toothpaste. That is not an exaggeration. So now they're in my section putting out stock, so I came over here. Oh, there's one. What is that? Well, it says 511. Look, it has the same number, but it's not the same color. It's more of a red. I'll put it in the back. 511. This one's pretty. This is some 
purple passion. That's nice. I like that. This one I can't decide if I like it or not. This is sea foam and it's kind of a bluish green. I don't really know if I like that. It's okay, I guess. Oh, this one's nice. Look at this one. This is um animated. It's like a dark red. That's nice. I like that. Oh, this one's even darker. This is hot blooded. I like this one better. I love dark red. Two, several. Let's see. Two five five fives and one five fourteen. Six twelve. Let's go over here. And this one is 406. That's another one of the hot blooded. That is really pretty. That's really nice. 511. They only have one of these. That's Electra. Here's a nice light pink. 527. Delicate. That is pretty. 542. I've always thought was pretty. This is Cocktail what I thought. Cocktail. Very nice. And then we have a white nail polish which I don't ever wear it by itself but what co what's the name of that color? Oh yeah. Energy Source. Every time I've ever tried to put on just plain white nail polish it never looks right. I always do it wrong. It just, yeah. Well I thought she was done. I'll come over here real quick before she comes back. Antibacterial, soft soap, fresh breeze, and we also have soothing aloe vera here. And I know people ask me all the time do people, do cut the customers or employees ever ask you what you're doing? No, this lady has literally walked past me like 10 times. <laughs> they don't care. So I don't really answer that question anymore. Anybody that asks is just going to get a trophy. You get a little trophy as a response for being the one to ask that question. But no, they don't ask. They, they genuinely do not care that I'm doing this. They're probably fine with it, I would imagine. If I worked in, if I still worked in retail and I saw a customer doing this, I would not interrupt. I would think, that's awesome. Carry on. <laughs> Saves me some trouble. These are cute little bottles of hand soap. Let me um, fix this row behind the troll's lip balm and I'll show you. Why is there one back there sideways? Let's see. Look at what, it looks like it has a little fish floating in it. This is just regular hand soap, fresh, fresh scent. Well, there's another one sideways back there. Okay. Now, if I worked in retail and saw somebody straightening my shelves, I'd probably run up and give them a hug. Down here, we have some spa soap that has lived a rough life. Look at these poor things. They got dropped on the floor. I'm going to put them in the back. That's a cute little bottle though. That's pretty big. That's 16.9 ounces. Oh, coconut mango. Coconut water and mango. From Dial. They even have Himalayan salt. I think we saw these last time, but it doesn't take much to fascinate me. You have to learn to look for the little things in life, you know? It's just little things that, that will fascinate you. It doesn't make you stupid, it just means that you can appreciate things. I have some Himalayan salt body wash and it is so awesome. I love it. I found it at Dollar General and it was a huge bottle for only a dollar. It is the best body wash I think I've ever used. It leaves your skin so incredibly soft. But they didn't have any more, and they weren't going to get any more. So I went to about eight different Dollar Trees trying to find this stuff. I only found one more bottle of it, unfortunately. But it became a quest there for a little while. I, I just kept looking for it. Ooh, this is a pretty bottle. Look at this pretty purple. 
This is some lavender chamomile liquid hand soap. That's cool. Unfortunately, it's about time for me to head out. But look what we did. Look what we've done. Look, at, look first we have the Isles of um, Body um, Hand Soap and all of the bar soap. It looks great. Doesn't it look great? I think it looks wonderful. Thank you so much for helping me straighten this stuff. Um, I really enjoyed it. I hope you did. I will see you again soon.